Hello, I'm here to talk to you about some rooting issues that I've had with, uh, this is Wyatt. Wyatt is my beautiful African-American boy. Um, he's just sweet. But I'm just learning to root properly and I wanted to explain to you some issues I've really had with this particular sculpt. Now I love this this little boy. Um, this is the Bailey sculpt that I got from Bountiful Baby and it has such a hook head. That's what we call <laughs> when, when you've got that kind of a the back of your head sticks out like that. I've heard that called a hook head and this kid has one. Um, he's gorgeous but I you know I I've had such a hard time rooting the back here and I'll show you why. Here's my needle and as you can see there's no way to get that needle to run flush with this angle of the head. So um, I've tried all kinds of things. I I stuffed him and tried to, to get the head to stand up like that so I could get it somewhat. I did do some of that. I wish there was a vise or something that I could use to squash his head. Um, this way that could get that up but anyway I've I've done it I've gotten the bottom uh, pretty much done and now I've finally got it to a place where I can actually start rooting somewhat normally around the head here and I've started rooting around his ears and um, I'll tell you a couple other issues I had was while I was learning to root with the PLB um, D video, what is it, Precious Little Baby Dust, Cassie and Rachel, as I was watching that video um, and learning how to do it, I used the needle that they put out. And it's got many barbs on it, and it, but it's kind of thick because I think it's a 36 gauge. And I got lots of holes in here and right in there. I ended up ripping all that out because I just was not doing a very good job um, with that needle. And finally, I've settled on, yep, the good old 43 single barb. Thank you, Pia, and some others um, for suggesting this one. I like this one better than the others. I used to use a fork needle, but it's really impossible to get micro rooting one hair at a time with the fork needle because you have to go through the whole hank of hair to even pick anything up. So let me um, kind of show you what I've done here with little Wyatt. Now that I've gotten through the, the bad part, this is what I used to wet his hair and um, all my babies. So it, um, what I had to do when I rooted this, that little funny part back here, um, I ended up going this way and this way to try to get um, the hairs in. When I got to the middle I tried something that I think would be kind of neat with straight hair and that is to root this side of the nape coming that way, meaning in like that, and then this side going this way, and like that. Of course, I had to root it. I'm, I'm going with the needle this way, but what I'm saying is punching this way at an angle with the needle and punching that way at an angle which gets the hair going like that what that ends up doing is making this cute little nape and I, I think it would look really good with straight hair and um, on a different kind of a head maybe one that doesn't have the hook head but um, <clears throat> then the others I, I just kind of went any way I could because <laughs> I'm trying to get through this. Wyatt has been a nightmare with trying to get him rooted but I think I finally got to where I'm rooting nicely and in fact now that I know how to um, do this and hold the needle I've actually got some nice um, spaced 
rooting going on here. Now the top part I've done pretty well. Underneath there, I don't want anybody looking at that. It's horrible. But I'll just show you. It, it's just a mess because I could not get the needle to go flush, so I end up just sort of poking. But what you don't want with a hook like a hook head like this is you don't want the hair to come from this part of the head because it's just gonna I mean and go straight in because it's gonna hang straight down and all the hair is just kind of gonna hang down and um, not really look natural the baby's hair needs to stick to its head somewhat and so I've done as the best I could in that regard at the bottom uh, he's going to have short hair so each hair I have cut. I still have to do some cutting. Let me get my trusty scissors. Let me get my lamp out of the way of my face so I can see him. Um, you see here, I don't know if you can see the hair. What I do when I cut the hair is hold it up the way it comes and pull it just a little higher than, than straight and I cut at an angle. In other words, Eh, let me get my scissors. I cut like this. There we go. So what ends up happening is the hair is graduated. Let me just going from show here you how I root now. Where it used to be quite different than it is now. And what I need is the hair. This is for the newbies. The hair should go let's see, slick. Hold it so it's slick when you pull it down. If you pull it the other way and you feel a little tug against it, that's the wrong way. So you hold it like this and I've learned now to use very few strands of hair at a time. My suggestion to a newbie, if you're learning how to root, don't start with curly hair because it's very difficult to keep track of all these little hairs that come out and they're all curly all different ways. It would be nice if it was all straight and they were all coming out and I could root from there but instead you have to kind of try to find a little curly uh, hair and you're moving your hand this way and that. So start out with straight hair <clears throat> if you can uh, and make sure you have a tweezers handy. This is the way I do it. Um, after watching the video, I cannot do it Cassie Peaks way, holding the, the hair out and, and rooting in the middle and it folds over and you have to pull one off. I can't do that. Let's see here. I get my magnifying glass set up right. I do use a magnifying lamp. I recommend that for anybody who has trouble seeing these tiny little hairs and um, it's really once you get the hang of it it's quite simple now sometimes you pull in two hairs and then you have to go back with the tweezers and pull them out right now I've got two hairs that have two hairs um, some of the others are going in pretty well with just single hairs um, I don't know if you can see that. I pull a little bit of hair and push. And there, one little tiny hair came out of that bunch. So I pull a couple hairs down, punch in. Now that one, look at there. It's got like four hairs in it. So as I pull it out, I'm pulling, hoping to leave just one hair in there. Might not do it. Let's see if I can do it. Ah. Well, if it doesn't do it, just relax the hairs a little bit, pull two out, relax it again, pull one out. There you got one hair. These, I'll have to pull these out after I'm done with this row. I'll go back and um, start plucking out the extra hair. Okay, that one went in nicely. Let's see, missed one. Sometimes you miss them. You just go back until you get them. There we go. Now this is working real nicely. If I can do this now, 
I think I can make up all the lost time I've had with that horrible hook head that has caused me to work on Wyatt for days, literally days, and pulling his hair all out, pulling my own hair out, I think. It's, um, that's just been, a, it's been a nightmare, and he's got all kinds of little polka dotted holes on his head. <laughs> the little follicles are terrible, and I'm hoping I can put him in the oven when I'm all done, and maybe the vinyl may warm up a little bit and shrink. Some people say that heating the vinyl will actually close some of those holes up so it won't look so bad. But as you can see, um, this all here is rooting very nicely and evenly. So if I can continue this uh, all the way around his head, I should be done pretty quickly. Now what happens when you have double hairs, um, I'll show you right here what I do, some of the hairs also when you're rooting, even though you might get one hair actually in, it may double over and then you've got this little um, little tiny piece that sticks out that has folded over and stuck out and it, it hasn't broken off. So I take my finger like this, hold down the, the hair and if you can see when I do that, all of the little tiny ones stick up and then you can pull them out. Um, you just go through and pull them like this. See that one there? You just pull it out. And um, it makes it pretty easy. There again. Now sometimes if they won't show up, I go under a layer and pull it up and see if I can pick them up. That also, way. where you've got the double hairs, you can see here where they're darker. Pull it down like this and you can see the darker hair, like this here, that means there's more than one hair. Let me pull this up and see how many there actually are in this strand. Okay, there are only two. So, you take one and you pull it out. Sometimes you can use your finger for that and sometimes you have to use the tweezers. So here's another hair. Take it, um, pull one out, and then you've got one left. Now there's a folded hair actually in on top of that. I'm going to get that piece. Um, one problem sometimes when you're pulling the folded hairs out, if you haven't pushed it down into the doll far enough, sometimes the little folded piece will still be attached and won't have broken off. And so when you pull the folded piece out, the whole hair comes out. That's maddening. Now here's a folded one. Let's see if that's the case. Yep, see, the entire hair came out. Eee, that makes me mad. So now I have to go back and do that. That's why it's important that you punch deeply enough. While we're speaking of that, let me show you my, my poor little bent needle. Now this needle looks pretty bent because if you were trying to get into that also straight, um, you'd be pushing your needle down quite a bit. And I've broken three needles on this, just on this section. That's how bad it's been for me. Um, it's taking a long time. Um, I was picking up many hairs, and now I'm... Uh, learning how to do it and it's going really fast now but um, this needle here I used to use the little mushroom things like I'll show you like this I got a couple of these um, I really prefer doing it the way Cassie and um, Rachel did it by just putting a rubber band over you get more control by having your hand closer to the tip plus by putting a little bit of this rubber band toward the tip, it gives more strength to the tip, so you're not bending it quite so much. So um, I recommend that for anybody who's really wanting to do this kind of close work. You hold that needle and you just... Let me see if I can get this in the frame here. I don't know if you can see it or not. But um, it's really not very difficult at all anymore to do this. So, now, another thing, make sure that your hook, I turn it so it's facing kind of at 8 o'clock, I guess, if you're looking at it like that, um, to make sure that that barb is going to pick up the hair. So you find the way it works for your particular hand um, and punching, and then just go ahead and do it. And so now, this is my speed. 
and this is my technique and I owe a lot to the precious little baby dust videos I owe a lot to my friends at Bountiful Baby the forum and um, a lot of them who have given me some instruction I appreciate that very much and I hope that some of the new uh, reborners will be able to learn a little bit from this and maybe be a little bit encouraged having seen some of my earlier rooting jobs which were pretty bad I even at one point when I was trying to paint doll hair I actually painted um, a doll's hair and then I rooted a little comb over to kind of blend in give some texture <laughs> I guess some have done that maybe successfully but I wasn't that great of a painter either that's going to be my next thing to learn but as you can see I've got some doubles here that I've just done now that one came out really quickly let's pull another whole hair out and let's see that one's going to be stubborn so I think I got several in there oh, took the whole thing out well, well I can go back and replace it and sometimes you get these little tiny ones these little whiskers that just show up it's where the hair is broken somewhere along the line oh, oh one other tip when you're rooting after you get a certain amount done grab your Aileen's tacky glue and just squeeze some up here and get your finger in there like that get some on your finger whoops sorry about that and go inside the head and rub your finger around where you've rooted that's going to help um, keep those hairs in there while you finish it's not enough um, glue so that the glue is going to come out through the follicles that's horrible when you do that whoops got some on his little face you have to wash him off um, anyway I'm going to continue rooting him gonna do his all the way around here um, and then do the mop see I've, I'm already mapping out my my swirl and all that and doing my mop in the front I've double written these lines because I started out and it wasn't very even so I'm wanting to get it even this stuff this gel pen those of you who don't know about this gel pen white gel pen it comes right off with water and so you can map out your doll hair with that and this section here is going to be the mop that goes forward these all kind of go sideways and um, and then my my swirl it's all going to blend in so I'm excited because I finally after a week of working on Wyatt I'm finally getting the hang of it I put this out here because I want you girls to be encouraged you can do it if you continue to hang in there and just um, practice 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 and get the tools that you need get the right kind of needle for yourself like you, like I said I use a 43 um, gauge single barb uh, needle which comes I get mine from Bountiful Baby plug there for my, my buddies and make sure you get nice hair I use Slumberland mohair this time it's really pricey and I can't afford it all the time but I also got some really nice hair from other places um, like this beautiful um, really lovely hair I got this hair from um, Zuzu Beans on Etsy and it was seven dollars and I think seven ninety five maybe for an entire ounce okay it's beautiful I love this hair she's got several colors again her name is it's Zuzu Beans fibers on another doll on Etsy so um and I'm also going to give him some eyelashes can't wait so um I hope this has helped you guys um I'll be doing some more of this I think as I go just so you can see it's not impossible to learn four months so if I can do it you can do it and um, 
Talk to you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>